Hello and welcome to ESL Advice English Grammar Lesson. In today's video, we will learn everything about WH questions in English. To get regular English lessons, exercises and quizzes, like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon to get notified. Now, let's move to the lesson. So, let us know the definition of WH questions first. Interrogative sentences are questions that begin with WH words, what, when, where, who, whom, which, whose, why, and how are called WH questions. We use WH questions to ask about specific qualities, manners, reasons, processes, things, times, places, choices, possessions, people, etc. Here are some examples of WH questions. What do you want? Where do you come from? When will you go to bed? Who is that man? Whose book is this? Why are you crying? Whom do you like most? Which dress do you prefer? How are you? Did you notice that all the sentences begin with the WH word? Remember. Although how does not begin with the letters W and H, it is considered to be a WH word. Actually, the letters W and H are present in how but in a different order. Now, let's see the structures of WH questions with examples. We can make WH questions in two ways. One is with a helping verb, and another is without any helping verb. The first structure is WH word plus helping verb plus subject plus main verb plus extension. For example, what do you prefer for dinner? Why should they go there too early? When will they leave for the station? The other structure is WH word plus main verb plus extension. For example, what happened to Samuel? Who called you? Who bought you this car? Now, let's learn more about all the WH words individually. The first one is what? The word what is one of the common WH words used to ask for information about something or any action. For example, what are you doing now? Here, the speaker asks about the action. In the second example, what are you looking for? The speaker asks about something that the other person is looking for. Remember, what is also used in indirect questions. For example, the teacher asked the students what their preferences regarding the exam date were. Though this is not an interrogative sentence, there is still a question that is indirectly present here. Let's look at another example. Jim wonders what his brother does nowadays. This sentence also has the WH word what, which helps to ask an indirect question here. Our second WH word is where. Where is used to ask for information about places. For example, Where did you get this? Where have you been for the last couple of years? Where do you find such beautiful showpieces? Remember, Where is also used in indirect questions. For example, I asked my students where they wanted to go for an excursion. He called me to know where I was yesterday morning. None of the sentences are interrogatives. But still, they ask a question indirectly by the use of the word where. Our next WH word is. When. We use the word when to ask for information about the time of any action. For example. When will you go to the gym? When did they meet you? When do you wake up? Remember. When is also used in indirect questions. Examples of such sentences are. John asked us when we would be there. The client wonder when we will be able to. Our fourth WH word is. Who. Who is a WH word used to ask for information about people. For example. Who is the captain of the team. Who do you talk to about your problems. Who helps you most. We also use who in indirect questions and statements. For example. Please tell me to who I should send the parcel. I can't tell you who gave it to me. The next WH word is, whose. 
we use whose to ask for information about one's possession. For example, whose car is this? Whose computer is okay? Whose are these books? Remember, we can use whose in indirect questions. For example, the stranger wondered whose the phone was. He asked me whose flat is this? The next one is why? The wh word why is used to ask for reasons or explanations. For example, why do you like this place most? Why are they so weak? Why did he call you? Why is also used to make indirect questions and statements. For example, they asked me why I missed the last class. I don't know why he did it. The next wh word is whom. Whom is also used to ask for information about people as we use who. However, we use whom as the object of who. For example, whom do you work with? Whom did they finally hire for the project? Whom will you select for the job? Remember, we also use whom in indirect questions or statements. For example, he didn't meet the man whom I sent. They asked me with whom I visited India. Our next wh word is which. We use which to ask for any specific information about anything. For example, which one is yours? Which bike would you like to buy? Which teacher is your favorite? We also use which in indirect questions and statements. For example, let them decide which one to buy. She knows which machine is not working. Our last wh word is how. How is a wh word used to ask for information about the manner, degree, or quantity of anything? For example, how do you go to the office? How hot is the coffee? How old are you? Remember, how is also used to make indirect questions or statements. For example, I have no clue how fit he is now. Did you know how difficult the situation was? Now, let's explore how to respond to wh questions. As we use wh questions to ask for information about people, things, places, etc. We are expected to provide specific information in response to wh questions. We cannot answer them with yes or no. Here is a chart that shows responses to different wh questions. I hope you have enjoyed the lesson. If you still have any questions about today's topic, ask me in the comment box. You can also let me know on what topic you want me to make video lessons for you. For more lectures, visit www.esladvice.com.